When my production partner David Burroughs asked me to be a part of this VH1 music video contest, I thought it'd be a breeze. Until we tried to come up with a concept for our audition tape. I mean, we've been working together for seven years. We've done broadcast television and music videos, corporate stuff. But how do you sell yourself to someone like VH1? Hey. Hey. Anything? Man, I can't think of anything. <sighs> hey. Got any ideas yet? Uh-uh. The harder we thought about it, the harder it was to come up with something. Hey, do you guys know what you're gonna do for the VH1 class of the music videos yet? No. Uh So, what are we going to do with this, man? We've got uh, this casting thing. We've got to do our demo reel. We've got that going on, right? So, well, what do they want? Passionate, creative. Sitting and talking about themselves. Okay. How hackneyed. What? Um, what? Um, hackneyed. Oh. Do you know what hackneyed is? Yeah, I do. Don't, yeah. don't demoralize me. Don't be defensive. Don't be defensive. No, okay, we're just trying we're to get passionate this. Passionate okay. and driven. Hi, okay. I'm just a little stressed. All Chill. Right. Hmm. It says to make it as personal as possible. Personal. Hmm. Hey, Dave. Uh huh. Ah, uh, maybe that's too personal. Let's see. It, nothing right or wrong. We want to get to know you. How lovely. How kind of like a meet and greet. What's important to you? What, yeah, what is this? Kind of... I thought we were trying to do a, a music video. We are, but you know, think of what's important to you, Renee. Like to me, like the rainforest, you know, and like growing uh, coffee beans that can be, <laughs> you know, put back into the planet. Oh wait, wait, wait! I thought this was a video competition. I didn't think this was like a dating service or something. It could be both. Uh, you know, I've, I, okay. I, I've I just stopped dating one actress. Thank you. Um. Hmm. Uh. What? What? What else? Uh. Oh, I know. Let's have our friends and family talk. I mean, they know more about us than we do. Dave is sexy, like really sexy. He's also brilliant. He's funny. Oh my gosh, he's just, he's funny, 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 funny. He's gorgeous. I don't know what else to say, love. Hey, just hanging out here with Odie. But since you guys asked, Renee, great guy at editing and camera work and all that stuff. Always a little fun. A little crazy in the head sometimes, but that's okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It says we can't do that. Right. Yeah, you'll see. Okay, what else? Uh, um, hmm. Think, um, think. Oh, I've got an idea. We could do a cooking segment. Kind of like a Rachel Ray thing, you know? A cooking segment? It's music videos. Yeah, but you could show how food kind of supports the whole theme of music. And they kind of go one and one, you know? And they blend Why? Because you just smoke pot and get the munchies and you eat? Well, I don't know. That's I don't one direction. That. We're doing 80s music videos, so that could work. I don't know. I don't know. All right. A little, you know, maybe if you were wearing a cute little French maid outfit or something like that, maybe. But, no. Mm. Well, today we're going to make a one of my favorite meals. It's like this Italian flambe uh, sausage mix. First, we start with red wine. And this is so cool. This is really dramatic. Because what you do is you pour the red wine and warm it, and then you light it, just like this. Oh, well, maybe not. What's your favorite music video from the 80s? <laughs> Did I like, I don't even remember the 80s. My God, I was in college. It's all kind of a blur. Okay, uh, White Snake is this love. So the double jaguar, the girl dancing over. Yeah, the Tony Katane, right? the little see-through thing, lots yeah. of smoke, That's hot. cool guitars, cool guitar solo. Uh -huh. Bedroom shots. Yeah. yeah. Well lit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for what it was. Yeah. 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 Mine would um, 
Duran Duran videos. They were great. Really? They were amazing. You know? It's kind of epic. Yeah. See, I like um, the chauffeur. Great video. Very artistic. Yeah. Very really hot. Yeah. yeah. Black and white. Yeah. I yeah. mean, really. I mean, that's the problem with music videos nowadays. It's like, uh, how that's the problem with real films nowadays? Yeah. Is that they're catering to the lowest common denominator? And they all look the same. Like, there's no originality either. Yeah, and now it's That's all the, the quick cut and everything. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, and I think it's a, a lot of it has to do with the music. Because a lot of the new music doesn't have the the, the passion and the guts that the that a lot of the stuff in the 80s did. Yeah, yeah it was and a little campy. I even like Cindy Lauper videos. Cindy Lauper, ah, oh, I no? don't know. Haircut 100? What did they do? What was that song? It's was that uh, Let Me Go? Bum, ba -da, Let da, Me Go. No, bum, the, ba -da. They're in the bowling alley? Yeah. Okay. A Twisted Sister. Yeah, I remember that. Was that. great, because that has a great tie-in with film, you know? With the guy that was the... Uh, the... Tie-in with film? Yeah, because he was like the, the guy master who had the, the house. He had the, the hockey mask on. Well, Wasn't the guy who was the straight jacket? No, no, no. The, the headmaster guy. The head what are you going to do with your guy. life? Wasn't he like the guy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so... I actually think that Pink Floyd ripped that off from them. Oh, really? For, in the, for Brick in the Wall? Right. The whole headmaster thing? Or did that come first? No, Pink Floyd always comes first. That's kind of a gross thought. <laughs> anyway. So tell me, what's your most embarrassing moment, Ray? <laughs> Other than sitting here with you trying to figure out what the fuck we're going to do? Yeah, what's your second most embarrassing moment? Um, it's too embarrassing. Alright, what's your most proudest moment? My most proud moment was finishing my first feature-length documentary. Which was a music yeah. video. It was. It was, a long, it was yeah. a long music project. It was Extreme Orchestra. Yeah. And it was about the, the Fort Smith Arkansas Symphony Orchestra. Thanks. And it's hard to say that a symphonic piece rocks. But it <laughs> I was pretty psyched when I actually got to uh, talk Fuse music into doing, uh, co-producing the TV show, Electile mm -hmm. Dysfunction. And then I carried the yeah. America Speaks Out part of it. Mm -hmm. A lot learned from that. But it was kind of cool to produce an entire idea and a show and a documentary. I'd always like to be doing music videos because I think it keeps you sharp and it, it's a small project that you can do mm -hmm. and knock off your plate and get a lot of experience and express yourself in all kinds of wickedly creative ways. Yeah, and it's great, especially when it's a great artist, yeah. it's a great song, and it, it, it and I think the better, uh, the stronger of a message a song has, the better it is. Either that, it's got a, it can have a great beat and not have a good and not have a message. Mm -hmm. This is true. Or I think back to all the message in an awful beat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, th that's that's another genre. That's like <laughs> rap poetry. Yeah, or Catholic death metal or something. Catholic death metal? Is that all? Is there a genre know. in my space? I don't know. I know. It, it is now. I'm sure okay, somebody's let's check that out. King that in right as we speak. Um, I want to check out death folk. Death folk. <laughs> <laughs> They're just dead, you know, they're just like corpses, <laughs> you know, on stage with guitars, you know, <laughs> na nailed into them. So, just a guitar, a solo guitar. So, you know, one of their friends goes and turns on the recorder and they're just dead, <laughs> you know, flies are buzzing around. Good work. What do you want to be in five years? I want to be doing what I do. I mean, I'm, I'm a director. The thing I love about working with you is that we're able to really put our best foot forward, you know, and right now I'm, I'm out there beating the pavement. I mean, yeah, licking, work. licking people's feet to get an assistant editor position, you know, it's killing me. Mm -hmm. It's killing me. We're better than that. Exactly. We're a lot better yeah. than that, you know? You know, we're artists, for God's sake. Right. You know, we should be doing our work. For, music videos good. are awesome. Because yeah, It's like totally. doing a short film, yeah. and you incorporate the music, which mm -hmm. drives the whole thing anyway. Well, That's I mean, you know, and you know, my background's in music. I'm, I was, I'm a guitar player, and I you know. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I was in a band <laughs> all the yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was in a band. And, and almost, music too. almost got signed to IRS in '92, and it fell through. And yeah, that's funny because I'm being audited by the IRS. So. For '92? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Through 2002, yeah, it's like a, I want to be doing um, in five years. Heather Lockwood. <laughs> no, um, probably she's gonna be 50 by then. You know, we started our, our ad agency, Fizz. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that gives us opportunity to do some creative commercials, things like that. Yeah. Well, the bottom line is, whether we get on the show or not, we're doing more projects together. And we're going to be on VH1 later. Oh. We'll probably oh. be on, like, where are they now? Or better yet, where were they then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Fuck. Oh, God. oh, I'm so depressed. I don't know what to do for this thing. So. Maybe we just did it. Great. <laughs> See. Cut.